Adding additional administrators from your organization is an easy way to allow other managers to oversee and manage certain types of settings and data. Let's take a look at how we manage administrative access in the Vision user interface. Start by clicking on Settings in the main menu and clicking Admin Access. The default page will show you the current administrator that you are logged in as. You can edit the account details by clicking on the Edit icon on the right-hand side. This will allow you to edit things like the name of the user. You can enter a new password by clicking on this checkbox. And you can also edit the time zone. On the right-hand side, you're also able to set up Google two-factor authentication by toggling the switch in the top right and following the short instruction list on the right-hand side of the panel. Once you've made your changes, you can click Save. If you want to add a new administrator, click on Company Admins on the right-hand side towards the top of the page. This will display a list of all of the other administrators within your Vision account. It will also display their email as well as their assigned role. To add a new administrator, click on Add in the blue heading bar. This will bring up a panel that will allow you to configure the account details, including the person's name, their email address, a password which they can change at a later date. You can also select their role, a limiting group, as well as their time zone. There are a few different types of roles within Vision that give you varying levels of administrative access. The first is the administrator role. Administrators have full access to the Vision account and there is no limit to the number of administrators that can be added to a single account. The next role is Manager. Managers are restricted from accessing the subscription sections as well as the ability to create and modify groups. Lastly is the Limited Administrator, who have the same restrictions as managers. They also are not able to access the Settings section, which contains all of the various employee monitoring settings and parameters. Subsequently, a limiting group can be applied to any of the above user roles. Subsequently, a limiting group can be applied to any of the above user roles. Limiting groups allow the ability to limit a specific administrative user to only view data, devices, and monitored users from the selected limiting group. An administrative account can only be limited to a single group. Once you've filled out and completed all of this information, you can click Save and that administrator's account will be active. If you want to edit any of the existing administrative user accounts, you can click on the Edit icon on the right-hand side. You can also delete administrative accounts by clicking the checkbox to the left of their name and clicking Delete in the blue heading bar.